Tomorrow morning kicks off the Rochester Woodcarver's annual show. And to give us a little bit of a preview, we spoke to the event's featured carver. And rather than making his masterpieces in a wood shop, he prefers to bring his chopping block to the kitchen counter. News Center's Allie Killam joins us live in our newsroom with his story tonight. Allie. Robin, Tom, it was 20 years ago that Wayne Hendrickson discovered his passion for wood carving after seeing his friend's creations, and he has been whittling away ever since. It's usually considered impolite to play with anything at the kitchen table. And so you cut them. It's like when you're making cookies. You know, you try to like, how many cookies can I get? But at the Hendrickson household, it's encouraged. Can I cut into the, cut into the tablecloth or whatever. That didn't work. Too. That wasn't too good or so out there. So finally, I got something. You know, it's like a wooden surface or so out there. Wayne Hendrickson has a different kind of cutting board on his kitchen counter, where he has whittled thousands of little treasures out of timber. Carvers are kind of. I don't know if you'd say we're cheap or thrifty, so we try to get as much out of we as a piece of wood as you can. After 20 years of chisel after hack, I probably put about three hours on this one so far. Hendrickson found his knack for wood carving, but he still never knows just what he'll end up with. You keep taking it away till you finally get what you're looking for. By now, there's hardly anything he can't make. Um, so here's Santa pulling out presents out of the you know, uh, out of the ice. The beaver over here, the chainsaw seems to work a lot faster than the uh, than his own teeth. But it's his heritage that often inspires him. All my ancestors came from Norway, so that's where a lot of the, they're kind of like Scandinavian type of figures or so out there. Yet it's a gift he often shares with others. You know, I've given them to people or given to relatives and things like that, and uh, I don't know, they must appreciate them because they haven't given them back again. <laughs> Hendrickson has landed the coveted seat at the Rochester Woodcarver's annual show as this year's featured woodcarver. Maybe I found my way, I guess. <laughs> Whether at the featured table or the kitchen table, Hendrickson will continue to make his many marvels for all to see. The Rochester Woodcarver's annual show begins tomorrow at 10 a.m. and goes until 4 in the afternoon. It starts again at the same time on Sunday. The event is free admission, and for $1, you can buy a raffle ticket that will enter you to win a carved masterpiece of your own. Hendrickson promises you have a better chance than winning the Powerball. Reporting live, I'm Allie Killam, KTTC News Center.